back. I'm back. How y'all doing? Did y'all miss me? I missed me. I know y'all miss me too. And like I said in my previous video, I do apologize. Um, I've been going through some rough, rough patches, you know what I'm saying? With everything with it being the year, you know, year anniversary of my mom's and, um, I was just attacking some demons, you know what I mean? Fighting them off. And now that they're gone, there's going to be more content, exciting content. And today is the first day we got some new content. And what is the new content you guys are talking about? Well, today we're going to be discussing a movie. We're going to be doing a movie review. And I don't know if you remember, but remember back on St. Patrick's Day, your boy Hard Gamer did a reaction video to a certain teaser trailer for a certain movie about a certain mythical creature that likes to kill people in the search of his gold that's right a couple days ago Leprechaun Returns released on video on demand and let me tell you something I'm excited to get into this with you this is going to be you know how my you, you know already how my reviews work Spoilers all day, every day. So if you haven't watched it yet, I'm begging you, turn this off. Go watch the movie and come back and watch this review because you owe it to yourself, okay? Now, with all that being said, this is your last chance. Hold on, I gotta... There we go. This is your last chance to back out just from here on out it's all downhill from here so let me adjust this camera because I gotta get into it so let's get into the review shall we okay so I know a lot of die hard leprechaun fans are gonna come up with the same argument they always do you know when, when a certain person plays a character for so long people tend to love that person and that character and then they tend to just shit on a movie no matter what happened with Nightmare on Elm Street it's gonna happen with the new Chucky movie and it's gonna happen with this Leprechaun movie you gotta go into this movie knowing that Warwick Davis isn't playing Leprechaun okay so let's just get that out of the way if he's not the Leprechaun get over it if you can get past that it's a good movie um you know, the movie starts out, you know, Tori, uh, uh, what was her name? Jennifer Aniston's character, uh, Tori Redding, Tori Redding, her daughter, because the movie's about her, it's her daughter, is the um, protagonist in this one, okay? Um, she's sitting there waiting for somebody to pick her up to go to the sorority house that is, uh, coincidentally, the house from the first one that... You know, they killed the leprechaun and the well and yada yada. I'm not ruining nothing. If you haven't seen a leprechaun, a damn movie's 25 years old. If you haven't seen it, then that's on you. Um, so she's waiting there. And uh, Ozzy, our boy Ozzy's back. He rolls up and he asks her if she needs a ride. And she's like, no, no, no. Because, you know, she's like, she thinks he's weird and shit. Okay, it's there at this bus stop. And she's like, no, I'm fine. I'm just going to wait for somebody. So she looks up on her phone. She looks up. Uh, you know, taxi service where she's at, and she calls it, and here's Ozzy's phone. So he turns out to be like the taxi cab driver or whatever. So he's driving around. They're talking about, you know, Tori, and Ozzy says she looked from, um, how to forget her name in this movie. Anyway, Leah, Leah, or something like that. Um, anyway, I don't know her name, guys. All right, Chad. You know how hard gamer is. It's that girl, that guy, this dude, that dude. You know what I'm saying? So, we're just going to call her Tori's daughter for this review, okay? <laughs> anyway, um, he tells her, they start talking about Tori, and he was like, you know, she, she helped take care of me. He was very fond of her, this, this, and this. So, he drives up, and they drive up to the house, okay, after they're talking, whatever. And, um... He's kind of apprehensive of getting out, you know what I mean? And, uh, but he gets out, 
drops his cell phone in the process, okay? And he, you know, helps her with her bags and everything. And she said, is everything okay? And he's like, yeah, everything's fine. We made sure of it. He's still talking about the leopard. And if you guys remember, Ozzy in the first one was a big man child. You know, he believed in magic. He believed in leprechauns. You know, he, he believed in all that stuff, okay? And, um, well, in this one, you could really see he was beaten down and battered. Like, he lived in fear his whole life. Like, this leprechaun was going to come back, and he knew it. And it scared the shit out of him, because you could see in this one, he's not the lovable, bumbling idiot like he was in the first one. He's more rugged and, you know, just beat the shit is the best way I could describe how he was. And um, so he gets back in the truck, drives off, okay? And, you know, she meets her sorority sister because now it's a sorority house and they're all trying to go green and they're using this house to do it. You know what I mean? Like solar panels, um, water pump to the well, all this shit, okay? And they're talking, they're introducing each other. You know, the um, the one chick, she had like dread. She was the, um, I forget her name too. It was the chick, the one chick introduced herself. They became closer in the movie and then you had the real like uptight chick where she was like freaking out about every little thing because she wanted the project to be perfect or whatever. And then you had the drunk chick who always was drinking and was always like the one who got in the way kind of deal, you know what I mean? And then they were, it was your typical, they, they really dug in and they really brought out your typical college, um, I want to say misconceptions, if that's the right word, stereotypes, that's it. They really reached out and grabbed your college stereotypes. You know, you got the nerdy chick, you got the, the uptight, um, like, want to save the world chick then you got the drunk chick you know they they really dug in with the stereotypes in this one okay but it didn't hurt it it was it made it a little funny so anyway they all meet each other they're working on the house or whatever and then it comes to a scene where ozzy's driving up the road ways and he can't find his cell phone so he's piecing together what happened he's like i had it at the bus stop i had it in the truck so i must have dropped it at the house so he turns and make, uh, he turns and makes a U-turn, and he drives down the road, go gets his cell phone, pulls up again. They're not nowhere to be found, and she uh, he pulls up, finds his cell phone, whatever. Okay, she so looks at the house one more time, and looks at the well one more time, and all of a sudden he hears, hears laughing coming from the well. <laughs> well, he goes for some reason. I don't know why the fuck he did this. As he goes to his truck and gets a fucking cardboard four-leaf clover, I don't know what, like it was gonna do something to a leprechaun. I don't, I don't fucking know. Like he was like he was holding up a cross to a vampire is kind of like the way I can explain it with this fucking cardboard four-leaf clover. Okay, so he's walking up, holding this thing out, and he looks into the well. For some reason, he just didn't get in the fucking car and drive off because that's what I would have done. Or just got in the car and drove the fuck off. Fuck him, I don't care. So he looks into the well and water, green water fucking shoots up in his face and in his mouth, whole nine yards. So he's uh, uh, spitting up water and shit, you know, puking up water. Um, then he gets in the truck and then he drives off. Okay, so as he's driving, okay, he starts getting sick. He starts feeling the pain in his stomach. He lifts up his shirt and you can see the leprechaun fucking his head and stuff coming and pushing through the skin <sighs> so he stops the car and gets the fuck out and this is the part I had a problem with I was really excited to see him okay I thought he was gonna okay so anyway he runs out into the woods and the leprechaun kind of like aliens his way out of his stomach you know how they do in the fucking um in the alien movie, so they kill Ozzy off almost in the beginning of the movie, which sucks, you know, I wanted to see him play a bigger part than what he really did, but they killed him off, I guess, kind of like to end that chapter, or whatever, 
So they kill off Ozzy. The leprechaun comes through Ozzy, you know, looks at him, starts talking shit like the leprechaun did. Said, oh, boy, you look like hell, yada, yada. And he looks into Ozzy's dead eye and sees his reflection. And he's like, when did I get better looking? You know what I mean? Or sitting in the weird fucking leprechaun voice. And this movie was fun, okay? So let's fast forward a little bit. Leprechaun's back. And the rest of this movie is an hour and 30 minutes of him looking for his gold, killing motherfuckers like he did in all the other ones. Except for the gore effects in this were fan-freaking-tastic. Okay? I'm not going to get like into detail like I normally do with every scene. But what I will do is I will explain certain scenes and explain just the, the detail and the gore. Like, practical effects, amazing. Like, there was a scene where... He grabbed the fucking mailman's head and, like, he was in the mailbox. They grabbed the mailman's head and pulled it in the mailbox. And the mailman's head is in the uh, mailbox and he's flailing around. And he runs into the back of the mail truck and falls over. He's laying there trying to get the fucking mailbox off. Meanwhile, the leprechaun goes ahead and jumps into the, <laughs> jumps into the mail truck. Kicks it in reverse and runs over the fucking mailman's head. And he just... Like a pimple, just, it was amazing. And he had his one-liners, you know, he had his witty little one-liners. I have to say, the only problem I had with this leprechaun was his laugh. Don't get me wrong, he wasn't a bad leprechaun. I am not mad at all at this dude for uh, being the leprechaun. I know a lot of people are going to fucking hate on him, you know, because it's not Warwick Davis, but Warwick Davis declined it because he has kids and he doesn't want to see his kids see him as that. And I respect that. That's a father. He's doing the, he was just doing the right thing. But in the same breath, those movies are what got your kids to, is going to get your kids to college, bruh. Just saying. But I digress. It's his choice and I respect the hell out of him for making that choice. So, we as fans need to learn that when the original doesn't want to do it, sometimes we have to settle for somebody else. And let me tell you something. This new guy, he's awesome. Like, he plays a damn good leprechaun. I think he's... I'm, I'm excited to see him in other leprechaun movies, to be honest with you, because he did a good leprechaun voice. It's just his laugh. It's more of a high-pitched cackle. Kind of like the opposite of what Warwick Davis's was, was the, you know, the, <laughs> you know, the deep cackle. He has more of a high pitch cackle, but he got the one-liners. He rhymed hysterically. It was, it was funny. Like, and when he killed, <laughs> like there's scenes where he was taking selfies with fucking people and it was funny. And then he killed him, you know, like he lied to the one girl. And said, you know, if you get me Tori's daughter, I won't put a hand on you. And so she did, that little bitch. Turned on little, um, Tori's daughter and locked her in the basement for the leprechaun. Well, the leprechaun said, you know, you're free to go. And so she's running down the fields and stuff. And she runs into, like, the field where they have the irrigation, where they're growing crops. And he starts turning on the fucking faucets. And they're flying off and they're hitting her. And one of them goes in her mouth and starts bleeding out blood. I, I, I wanted that bitch to die. Like, she was one of the ones, like, I wanted her to die. Like, the drunk bitch, it was the drunk bitch. I could not stand her character. She was annoying. She ran like a fucking mongoloid. Like, she was annoying. Her her character was shitty. And I was so glad that she fucking got hers. Um, the scene in the preview, the scene with all the little leprechauns, that was pretty funny. <laughs> you know, that bitch, you know, she thought she was hardcore until, you know, she tripped over her own feet and got a fucking shovel to the head. Um, and there's other scenes where I like I like a lot of the interactions with the leprechaun and Tori's daughter because it's history there. Okay, they bring up Tori a lot in the movie between the leprechaun and Tori's daughter. Okay, they explain to you what happened to Tori because Jennifer Aniston was reached out to to you know do a cameo in this movie and you know she's all high class now because she did her friends thing and everything so she was too good to come and do a cameo so they had to write her off and they used a little bit of dialogue to do it and it worked i think this is a good 
uh, direct sequel, okay? Me personally. Now, I told you Ozzy dies in the beginning. He does come back a little later, but he comes back as a ghost. And he comes back as a goofy ghost, okay? There's scenes where he's just being goofy. And it's good. It, it's, it's good. It, it lightens the mood. You know, you're sad to see him that way, but it lightens the mood. And then there's a scene. There's a scene where the leprechaun is chasing them down. They're driving the car, and my man is sitting on a... F He's sitting on one of those fucking... Um, what the hell are they called? Uh, drones. He's sitting on a fucking drone flying next to him with a controller. You know what I mean? Bumping into him and shit. Like, you can't fucking fuck with that, man. That's, that's classic leprechaun. Like, in the first one, he was chasing her in the fucking mental hospital <laughs> with a wheelchair. All right? He was holding onto her car while he was on roller skates, you know? He chased him into town on a tricycle. That's what I like to see. You know, that is the shit I like to see. Not that, that and I'm going to refer to this because y'all may have seen my previous review on a movie called Leprechaun Origins, which was shit. It was trash. This movie brings the series back. I'm excited to see what else is happening with the series. I want to see what route they go. I'm going to have to give this movie, in my professional opinion, an 8 out of 10. Now, with that being said, there are scenes where, like, the dialogue is kind of shitty. Some of these actors, you could tell it's like their first role. They're not really good with dialogue delivery, but they could get better as years go by. Had no problem with the Leprechaun other than his laugh. Now, is this like a direct sequel to the first, like, Halloween? Fuck no. We all know Halloween was one of the greatest horror movies of the year. It's my favorite horror movie of the year, which I will be bringing that up in my uh, 2018 horror wrap-up video, which is to be coming out later in the few weeks um but yeah it was a good movie it was solid it was a solid sequel it stood i believe it stood shoulder to shoulder with the original the originals you might think i'm fucking crazy it is what it is i enjoyed it the guy is a damn good leprechaun and i really think that he has potential to make a few sequels and hopefully they're just as good like i said a perfect eight out of ten for Leprechaun Origins. Funny fucking movie. A blast to watch. It was an hour and a half of just fun. It was fun. And that's what this movie was made to be. It wasn't made to be fucking Shakespeare. So all you movie critics out there who are going to be so up its ass because, come on now, come on now. Going to be up its ass because it's not, you know, the Avengers or something magical like that. You know, this isn't a movie for you. But if you're a horror fan, like your boy Horror Gamer, and you enjoy a good hour and a half of just turning off your brain and watching goofy, horror, funny, B-horror cheesiness, then this one's for you. And I highly recommend it. I love this movie. I'm going to watch it again. And, yeah. That is my review on Leprechaun Returns. Do yourself a favor, check it out. Now, I have a big announcement for you. This Saturday, December 15th, your boy Horror Gamer, yeah, me, this guy right here, Horror Gamer, is going to be having a Leprechaun Movie Marathon. What is a Leprechaun Movie Marathon, you ask? Well, it's basically point, dry, simple. I'm going to be watching all the Leprechaun movies from 1 to, what is it, 9? 8? All of them, even the shitty ones. And I've decided that during here's where the fun part comes in during this leprechaun movie marathon your boy horror gamer is going to go live and check in from time to time and make it an all day event on youtube so what does that mean for you guys so that means that your boy horror gamer is going to be watching um leprechauns all day and periodically going live on youtube to answer any questions give you guys thoughts facts all the fun stuff it's gonna be a good time i'll be releasing a video friday night it's not gonna be a long one like this one 
it's going to be Friday night, and I'm going to let you know the time the marathon starts. And well, just the time the marathon starts because we start at one time, and then it goes on until the fucking marathon's over. Until I'm done with the movies. So, with all that being said, be ready because it's going to be a good time. I want to see all my hard horde out there asking me questions being interactive with it. This is for you guys. I want you guys to interact with me while I do this. It's going to be a good time. So, check in on Friday, tomorrow. Check in tomorrow. I'll release a one, two minute video to let you guys know the time. And then, it's on. And also, look for the first video of the first playthrough of Resident Evil or the first Resident Evil within the next few days because I've been working on that too so a lot of good things coming up guys but that is it that is the spiel for today I love you guys so much thank you for sticking with me everyone who stuck with me thank you those who unsubscribed that's fine too doesn't matter your boy Hard Gamer does it for my horror I love you guys to death. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Big things coming. Look for the video tomorrow on um, when the, the movie marathon is going to start. And then we'll get to it. All right, Hard Horde. This has been your boy Hard Gamer saying, as always. Oh, and before I do this, definitely, 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 definitely go check out Leprechaun Returns. So, with all that being said, now, this has been your boy Hard Gamer saying, as always. Don't fear the darkness. Embrace it.